The owner of the Volcanoes brought the team from Bellingham 23 years ago, having the stadium built here, and it's been here ever since, even calling it a family business. My family has um, all worked here at one time or another. Uh, some of my family still works here. A family business that could soon shut down. We're still mystified by it. Um, the biggest thing is, is we were never given and still haven't been given any justification. Why? Why the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes? A new agreement between the two leagues would reorganize the system. 42 teams, including the Volcanoes, would lose their affiliation. According to the New York Times, the MLB says the agreement would make the miners more efficient and improve conditions and facilities. But Jerry Walker, the owner, says Volcano Stadium meets the requirements. Well, our facility here in 1997 was built to Major League Baseball standards for minor league stadiums at the time, and we've kept in compliance ever since, so it's not a facility issue. The team draws about 2,200 fans a game, even doubling that when a 2017 game became the first to stop for the solar eclipse. So when Kaiser Mayor Kathy Clark heard that the Volcanoes made the list. Well, that was a gut punch. When I first heard that anybody was even thinking about it, I thought, are you crazy? Clark says when the stadium was built for the team, it was an economic catalyst for Kaiser Station. She doesn't understand why the Volcanoes made the list. Why would baseball want to pull out of one of the largest markets in the Northwest area? That doesn't make sense to me. If the plan gets approved, it wouldn't take effect until the 2021 season. So get your tickets while you can. You know, I think in the short term, uh, this is going to be, uh, you know, good for the 2020 season, but obviously long term it would be devastating and we're much more concerned about the devastation of an elimination of our franchise and uh, having a few extra ticket sales for next season. This plan has reached the federal level. Oregon Representative Kurt Schrader and 105 other members of Congress have sent a letter to the Major League Baseball Commissioner strongly opposing the plan. In Kaiser, Devin Haskins, KGW News.